What's going on everybody? Welcome to my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. It's been a couple of years since I've done anything on the channel, so I thought this might be a good way to get back into it while everyone's stuck at home right now. Ooh, here's an outdated question. Are you a boy or a girl? Yeah, let's go with the boy character. Um, yeah, so it's been a while since I've done anything on YouTube. I kind of fell off the face of the earth um, around the time I was finishing up finals for college. Um, but I want to take this chance to get back into things. Let's set the clock here to night 11 o'clock. Yeah, I was going to grill Nintendo for spelling night wrong. Then I looked it up and it turns out both ways are in the dictionary. So whatever, I guess I was the idiot there. Um, so here's the introduction. This is Professor Oak. He's going to tell you all the stuff you need to know. Yeah, Professor Oak, he's the dude. He, he freaking made the Pokedex for God's sake. Um, anyways, he's gonna tell you that, you know, Pokemon, gotta love them. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them violently to the death. We're gonna choose the latter. We don't know everything about Pokemon yet. That's okay, we'll learn the hard way if we have to. Still have many mysteries to solve, uh, so yes, yeah, so that's why he studies Pokemon every day. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Uh, so unless your name is Chris, Matt with one T, Alan, or John, then you go ahead and choose a new name. Oh, I wonder what the girl names were. Something else with stupid stuff. I mean, Matt with one T? Who the hell are you to... I've never seen that in my life. That must just be like the the sons of the four dudes that made the game. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with Leroy. That's my name. Don't wear it out. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. World of Dreams and Adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. And then you get that classic scene where you shrink down to gameplay size. And then you're in your room, so let's just start by getting out of here. No potions in the PC or anything this time, so uh... Yeah, your mother's gonna stop you on the way down. She says that Elm was looking for us. So we got Professor Oak and Professor Elm. Um, then she says that our Poke gear is back from the shop. From the repair shop, who knows what happened to it. Um, but yeah, whatever. It's probably bought us some piece of crap refurbished Poke Gear. Had to get it fixed. Um, anyways, set the day, Sunday, sure. Daylight savings, sure. I live in Arizona where we don't even have daylight savings time. Um, but you gotta have it on or off in the game, so whatever. Anyways, um, oh crap, I read the instructions by accident. Didn't, alright, yeah, let's. Our main goal is to get out of here as quickly as possible, so let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah, here's here's the, uh, Professor Elm Pokemon Lab. You're gonna notice that there's some long-haired dude, sketchy dude, looking through the window. And he's like, so this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? What am I staring at? Dude, you're the one that's, like, creeping out through the window over there. Wondering what you're staring at. Then he literally punts you in midair. Like, several feet back, so... Yeah, if you talk to him again, he's just gonna continue to kick your ass, so we'll go ahead and go inside. And this is Professor Elm. Um, pretty much the most worthless sack of crap in the world. He's gonna say that he's conducting some new research, and he wants to lean on us for some help. Um, because you see, uh, he's writing a paper that he wants to present at a conference. Uh, the only problem is... He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He doesn't understand anything, so he figured, yeah, uh, why not take that kid across the street and have him go do all the work for me so I can take the credit later. So yeah, that's basically what the deal is here to start the game. Um, but the good news is we get to take one of his Pokemon, so whatever, we'll help you uh, cheat on your paper there, Professor Elm, but yeah, as long as I can take one of these Pokemon, I don't really care. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and swoop one of these. Um, oh wait, hold on, hold on. He's got an email. Uh, uh huh. Okay. See, look how far we've came since the original games where we had to hand deliver a freaking letter. Now this time we just got emails going back and forth. But he got an email from a dude named Mr. Pokemon. It's the most ridiculous name of all time. But Mr. Pokemon, he's. Some lunatic who keeps finding all these discoveries, ranting and raving about them. But today we got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Which I love that line because it just implies that there's been all these other times where it hasn't been real. 
where it's just like, really, Mr. Pokemon, how many times are you going to keep emailing us at 11 o'clock at night and asking us to come out here to your house? Um, but yeah, basically, he comes up with this great idea where he's like, oh, how about this, Leroy? How about you go to Mr. Pokemon's house for us? Because these two just want to continue to not do anything and just stay in this lab here. It's like, what do these guys think there's some deadly virus out there or something? Um, anyways, let's go ahead and choose our starter Pokemon. So, we're gonna have three options here. Let's start on the end with the grass type, Chikorita. The least popular starter Pokemon ever from any game. People literally hate this thing. But I'm here to tell you that it's not as bad as people say. Um, of course it's not as good as the other two starters. However, it is the best grass type Pokemon in the game, and that is worth something in its own right. So if you plan on getting a grass type, just know that your options are going to be pretty awful. So um, if you want the best one, grab yourself a Chikorita early. Totodile is the water type Pokemon. Um, most people use a water type at some point in the game because of moves like Surf, so... Um, not a bad idea to get one to start with. Of course, there are really good water types, aside from Totodile later in the game. Um, so, it's, it comes down to your personal preference. Totodile gets fully evolved into Feraligator quite early at level 30, compared to the usual 36, so that's a pretty big advantage for him. And I'm actually going to pick the fire type, Cyndaquil. I'm a big fan of Cyndaquil. And I think this game really screwed up by not making all of the fire type Pokemon available during the main part of the game, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna grab a Cyndaquil so I can have Fire-type checked off the list. Not that you need a Fire-type to beat the game or anything like that, but I always like grabbing one. And I'm, I'm gonna continue to go with nicknames for my walkthroughs, so I'm gonna name my Cyndaquil Hot Sauce. Greatest nickname of all time. Shout out Taco Bell. Um, anyways, Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove City, which is the next city over. Um, and he's gonna tell you, so it's basically a straight shot, you can't miss it. But just in case, uh, here's his phone number. Yeah, just in case we get lost crossing the 20-foot route, right next to the house that we grew up in, here's his phone number, in case we're lost. Is that supposed to imply that I've just, like, never left my hometown in my entire life? Just kept it on lockdown here in New Bark Town all these years? Um, yeah, so whatever, he's gonna tell you, you can use his little, uh, Pokemon Center Healing Station in case you get beat up by a bunch of level 2 Pidgeys or something. Uh, yeah, then his assistant here is going to give you a potion to help you out. Luroy received potion. Nice. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and save that for later. Oh, now it's the potion when you put it in the pocket, so. Oh, I love how he says this. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. I love how he just has to throw that complaint in there like nobody even asked. But he just has to chime in with, uh, yeah, here's a potion. By the way, he only hired me, so just constantly slammed. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> um, anyways, there's that potion in the items pocket. Um, there's different little bags for different types of items in this generation. Sweets, and we've got our Cyndaquil right here. Um, only level 5, knowing Tackle and Leer. It does have a berry attached as a starter item. And yeah, it's got pretty low stats, so um, let's just go ahead and get started. And it looks like that dude is still staring through the window, so whatever, don't know what he's looking at, so let's just get going with Route 29. And yeah, Route 29, uh, we don't actually have any Pokeballs to catch any wild Pokemon, but you can start fighting them. I'm just going to cut out wild battles because... Uh, saves time, but you're basically going to find a bunch of Pidgey and Sentret in this route. I am playing at nighttime though, so that's going to change things up a little bit. So right now I'm seeing a lot of Hoot Hoots and Rattatas, and you'll see that this game will um, kind of change the wild Pokemon depending on daytime or nighttime. And let's go ahead and grab this berry here. I think these trees replenish daily, but... I'll just grab them as I see them. Kind of useful items. And just like that, we're in Cherry Grove City! That's right, I did it and I never even had to call Professor Elm. Um, so let's not even bother with this tiny city. Let's just move on to Route 30. Oh. Alright, so Route 30 is what we have to get through. Um, well, it says it brings us to Violet City. We can't actually get to Violet City yet, so hold your horses. 
We're just trying to find Mr. Pokemon's house over here. Let's go ahead and grab that berry. And he mentioned that this dude lived on Route 30, um, but it's not this guy. This is just another random dude. But he's gonna give you another berry, so that's like three or four berries in a two minute spin. I am basically the berry king at this point, and we're only ten minutes into the walkthrough. Nice. Um, Alright, oh, if it's a berry, I'm gonna flip out, guys! Oh, I hit to doubt. Alright, whatever. That'll cure some poison. Um, probably better than a berry. Ignore the left side, it's a cutoff. We'll go to the right side. And continue going up the grass here. Um, I'm not even fighting these wild battles, I'm just running like a scaredy cat. Uh, here's a hidden item. Right next to the flowers there. Boom! It's a potion! Bet you didn't know about that. And let's go ahead and grab another berry up here. And this one's a uh, poison cure berry. So you can attach that to your Pokemon and if they get poisoned, it will automatically heal it. And those berries are all one-time use. Anyway, here's Mr. Pokemon's house. Hello, hello, you must be Leroy. Professor Elm said that you would visit. Yeah, so this is Professor Pokemon, or Mr. Pokemon, uh, and he's gonna go ahead and give you the mystery egg. Yeah, the mystery egg. This is what all the fuss is about. Um, so we put the mystery egg in the key pocket. Hopefully it doesn't crack or anything in there. Um, so yeah, he's friends with the people that run the Pokemon daycare. And they gave him that egg. And he was intrigued. Uh, apparently no one knows how reproduction works in the Pokemon world. Everyone's just scratching their head like, Huh, what is this egg? you never heard of this before. So yeah, a bunch of freaking idiots amongst us. And now, uh, Professor Oak, the dude from the beginning of the game, he's gonna run over. Aha! So you're Leroy! Like, yeah, did it really take you that long to figure that out? I've been in here for a while now. I already got the egg, dude. Uh, anyways, he's, he's sitting here chilling with Professor Pokemon or Mr. Pokemon, whatever. And, uh, oh, he's gonna notice my rare Cyndaquil. And he's like, I understand why Professor Elm gave you this Pokemon. Yeah, it's because he's a lazy piece of crap and he doesn't want to do the research for himself. That's why he gave it to me and made me come out here. So Professor Oak immediately picks up on the cue and he's like, you know what? How about I allocate some of my work to you as well? So go ahead and take this Pokedex and do the research for me. I mean, it is kind of cool that I'm getting a free Pokedex. Honestly, this is like getting an iPad back in the day. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty sweet. So yeah, I, I'm pretty satisfied. We got the Cyndaquil, we got the Pokedex, we're good to go. Um, and he's gonna run off to Goldenrod for his usual radio show. Sweet brag, dude. Um, Alright, so there he goes. Alright, so yeah, now we're gonna re go return to Professor Elm. So he's gonna heal us up, even though we ran away from all the wild Pokemon battles. So I guess you probably should train on your way up, because you get the free heal. And right when you step outside, you're gonna get a call from Professor Elm, who's just absolutely breaking down and panicking. He says that something terrible happened, and we gotta we gotta get back there as soon as possible. So, uh, yeah, good thing <laughs> good thing he gave us the phone number. He was like, yeah, if anything happens, just give me a call. Then five minutes later, he calls us freaking out. So at this point, you're just gonna head south. Um, we're just gonna retrace our steps all the way back to Newbark Town. And it's usually a little bit easier to retrace your steps by finding little ledges like that. And just hopping right over them. So this brings you back to Cherry Grove City. Smallest city in the entire game. We still haven't even done anything in here. And I guess we'll just save it for later. And look who it is! Right when you try to leave Cherry Grove. It's the dude with the long red hair from outside the Pokemon Lab. So yeah, he basically broke into the Pokemon lab, stole a Pokemon, and now he's gonna come become your rival for the rest of the game. So yeah, first real actual fight that's required in the game. And it's gonna be against... Question mark, question mark, question mark. So yeah, you basically get to name him whatever you want later. And he's gonna have the Pokemon with the typing advantage over you, which doesn't really matter at this point in the game because it's only gonna know tackle or scratch or something like that. So if you did any leveling up, you should have a pretty easy time. I didn't, so I'll go with a Leer. Uh, let's try to soften it up a little bit. Totodile has pretty good defense. I think it's one of its best stats, so... 
I don't want to spend 50 tackles to knock him out, so... Sometimes that can be beneficial for you. Um, and yeah, as long as you have a berry attached to your Pokémon, you should be good to go, and... Of course, we got that potion as well from... the dude in the lab, so yeah, we have plenty of ways to get healed up here. Totodile is probably actually the toughest one to take on in this fight. Uh, because I mentioned it has a high attack, high defense, those are kind of the main um, stats at play in a level 5 fight. Um, oh, and there's that berry kicking in, so yeah, you can see it'll come in right at the right in the nick of time and recover some health for you. But it looks like we didn't even need it this time around, so uh, yeah, we'll get 70 experience points. That's going to get Cyndaquil up a level. Some stat boosts, and we learn Smokescreen, which is a non-attacking move, so... Not the most exciting thing in the world in terms of our move sets. Still pretty early in the game, so... Alrighty, so he's gonna tell you his name. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And that he's gonna be the world's greatest Pokémon trainer. So yeah, then he punches you in the gut and runs off. Yeah, that guy is violent. Too bad he sucks at fighting Pokémon, though. Um, so let's get through Route 29, backtrack it all the way to New Bark Town. Feel free to fight any Pokemon along the way. I'm just gonna uh, avoid the grass entirely by going over these ledges. Shortcut City, baby. Alright, and just like that, we are back in New Bark Town, so let's head into the lab. And when you get in here, there's gonna be a police officer talking to him. Um, because there's apparently a Pokemon stolen from here. So he was getting some information from Professor Elm, and apparently it was a young male with long red hair. What? You mean to tell me you battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Ah, uh, what was the name? What was the name? We threw out the name! No, I'm just kidding. Shout out SpongeBob. Uh, his name was Corona. That's right. I'm gonna name you Corona. Because this rival just absolutely sucks, so it's the most fitting name in the world for him. Um, now, after the police officer walks out, whatever you do, do not follow him. Do not leave the lab, because you are not done yet. I cannot tell you how many times I screwed this up in my childhood, where I would just walk right out of the lab. Um, you still need to talk to Professor Elm before you leave, otherwise the game is not going to let you... Um, get through that dead end on Route 30, so... Yeah, we still have to give him the mystery egg. And Elm just... He's so startled and shocked, he's like... Could it be? Is it a Pokémon egg? This is a great discovery, like, as opposed to what other kind of egg? Like, what other eggs are existing in the Pokémon world that aren't Pokémon eggs? Like, seriously. Riddle me that, Nintendo. Why does no one know what a goddamn egg is? Um, anyway, so he's all shocked about the egg. And, uh, yada yada yada, he's going on a big rant right now about how I might become the champion someday because I happen to have an egg in my pocket. Um, so yeah, he's gonna tell us to go face the gym in Violet City. Yeah, I'm destined to be a champion. Look at me, I got a Cyndaquil, a Pokedex, and an egg. Got the whole world in front of me, who can stop me now? Um, oh, this guy is gonna stop me one more time. And he's gonna go ahead and give me... Leroy received Pokeball. Reminds me of the time I received Potion. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna tell you you can use Pokeballs to catch new wild Pokemon. And, um... It's actually, you're gonna find by going into your pack that it's five Pokeballs, not just one. So, yeah, now we can actually go ahead and try adding some new Pokemon to our team to join Cyndaquil. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try that out in the next episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys all in part two. See you next time.